Hey guys, Ben here at the Arizona Archery Club. I've got a story you've probably never heard before. We had a customer bring a bow in that has been submerged for over a year in a river up in Alaska. It's water from a glacier in Alaska. It, it was blessed by a, an Eskimo medicine man. It's cold. Yes, it's always cold. His hunters were floating down a river when their boat flipped over and sank. The hunters had to get airlifted out of the field, left the boat and everything that was strapped down into the boat behind when they got rescued. That river then froze over and later after everything thawed out, the guide went back and got a, a strap around the boat, recovered the boat, and in the boat he was able to recover this bow along with a few other items. He then brought this bow into us to get it checked out and kind of see if this thing is, is viable to use and shoot and get restored to um, go hunt with it. We checked this bow in under our dry fire inspection service. We do this for bows that have been damaged, not necessarily just dry fired, but anything we want to check out and see what parts need to be replaced. With this bow being underwater for over a year, all of the steel parts on the bow have been rusted. Every bolt, every piece of hardware that's steel is covered in rust. So we're going to take this thing apart. It's going to be a good candidate for our trophy tune service where we will disassemble a bow and clean everything down to the smallest detail we can before we rebuild it and tune it. We're going to tear it apart and see what needs to be replaced. See if the, the cost of replacing everything that's bad makes sense to do the customer to get it rebuilt and then we're going to go through it, get it rebuilt, get it tuned and hopefully get it back in the field to hunt another season. I'm curious to see if a bow that's been submerged underwater for over a year can be shot as it is. We're going to take this thing and go shoot it. Don't recommend doing it, but I have to know what happens. Okay, we definitely don't recommend doing this, but the bow is a Matthews. The rest is a hamski, sights a black gold, it's all really solid stuff, so let's give it a whirl. Safety third. Okay. Still shoots, still in one piece. Kind of impressed. That, that's why it's so special. 